can see what she's got yarn house everybody doing this morning it's saturday august 3rd it's 12 57 p.m in the afternoon i want to get on here before the grandkids got here i've got them i guess for the rest of the weekend maybe i'm not sure so i think they asked me saturday and sunday but that doesn't always happen but got a little bit of yarn this is actually a back order and this I received two days ago and I with all the puppy stuff it got kind of moved to the side and no matter how often I clean my desk I always have something in the way I'm gonna get my um, keyboard tray back down here I've got it on the door I've got a door that that folds down but I don't have that fold tray I'm gonna all I need is the wood and the little the rollers you know what I mean because the rest of the stuff's in here I threw that drawer away and I probably should have I didn't think I'd need it but I really miss it right now yes I do so anyways we got Joann's and we got Mary Maxim let's get to the small one because the big one may take a little bit, but with me, it never takes long, does it, with <laughs> yarn hauls? I'm not as detailed as some people. I probably should be, but I'm not. This is for fun, but I do want to be informative. To the oh, this is just, I ordered some more posh. I, I was never able to get white. I got, I think I got black, white, I think I have all the colors but brown, and I actually do have like one of the browns, I think, somewhere. But I got all the colors, and I'm happy now. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know what posh is, it is a polyester. It's a Joann's, it's a big twist, Joann's Fabrics brand, big twist posh. And I wish I could show you what I made, but the grandkids, you know, nothing last year that I make. But me and Charm Grammy made a couple bunny rabbits out of this yarn, and I found it to be quite nice. It's strong. It doesn't um, fray at all on the ends. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, make a liar out of me. But no, it's actually really strong compared to other um, yarns but I've noticed the newer um, Chanel and you know the plushy yarn I think it's better I think there was a bad batch out there somewhere probably in India <laughs> I don't know but I like this posh and I think it's great for amigurumis uh, it's not for the big ones but for the average size ones you know I think it's really nice it's strong and I like it, and I want to make Amy's. I just, you guys are like, okay, when are you going to start doing it? Oh, I just got other stuff on my plate. So, before we move on to the next yarn, I almost forgot. How could I forget? My bundle of love showed up yesterday morning, about 10.30. And she's over there sleeping. Zeus snapped at her. He usually will snap, but he made her cry. She doesn't even bark. She's very, very quiet, very calm puppy. She's playful, very friendly, but she's, you can tell she's very docile. And her name is Sadie. Yes. And occasionally I forget to <laughs> forget what I named her. I need to write it down on my hand. Um, it was a toss up between Sadie, Dixie, and <sighs> thought about um, Penny. There was another name out there um, that I thought about naming her, but I'd probably get someone to get mad at me if I named people. Some people would be like, if somebody named an animal after me, I would be touched. You know, I'd say, cool. You know, but some people are like, don't you dare name your dog after my child. <laughs> so I have to be mindful of that. So, and there was, there's several people that gave me names that, I've already had a dog that name, you know, so I didn't want to name 
or a, a childhood dog or my mom's dog or you know what I mean so I, I know that's not really a good excuse now I named Marley after her mommy but I don't live in that household and I asked if she I went to the breeder she's actually a girlfriend I go do you mind if I name her Marley after her mommy I didn't name her after her mommy but I like the name Marley and Marley fit the bill kind of <laughs> a little terror she was like oh, no problem no big deal so but I can't get a hold of the person that I wanted to so anyways so Sadie it is and let's get to the yarn haul she's sleeping I'll show you guys I'll pop her in here before I leave this video all right I ordered pre I ordered Mary Maxim oh my goodness it was um, I sure hope you can see me I can't pull it up why can't I pull here we go it's pulling up um, I only need one one email let me type in Mary Maxim I ordered it on 7:24. Today Saturday, so it took seven, eight, nine. It took ten days. It took two weeks. Well, at least I know now. I wonder if it comes from Canada, because I know they have a Mary Maxim in Canada. But you know, it's it's also like um, Joanne. Joanne, you know, uh, they they you get onesie twosies here and there that's what that posh was it was probably a, um i ordered all my posh off the warehouse um the www.joann's instead of my app they tend to have and carry things that maybe my store won't have not always but sometimes they so, do but um i forgot my point it was about shipping but i can't remember it's probably going to get worse, y'all, <laughs> before it gets any better. I don't think it's going to get any better. But this took two weeks. That, I mean, Joanne's is hit or miss. You know, I can't remember what I was going to tell you. Darn it. Anyways, this is Mary Maxim. I don't know why I ordered it. Oh, I know what I was going to say. There's been some complaints about the shipping with um, Premier. Uh, I don't know why I brought up when when these stores have these huge sales they are inundated with thousand of us yarn addicts okay I I understand I have a warehouse and um people screw up and too much sometimes it just it happens we're human so but yeah sometimes there's a lot of mistakes when they have these huge sales like I think I screwed up actually I know I did but you never know I wanted two sleeves of three vivid of two different colors so I should have had 12 cakes I only got two but if Premier knew me they would know better that I would not order two of each color <laughs> but the sale is over now so it's okay I have vivid in my stash it'll go back on sale and I might buy it again I might not I was gonna get it for Boggy Creek blankets but you know I have plenty of yarn for Boggy Creek I've got right here on this wall I got a bunch of my stripes yarns I want to try well let's get through the haul first Zoom. hold on a second <laughs> everyone I'm back it's a little late it's dark out well, you can't even see, can you? It's dark now. It's, it's Saturday, August 3rd still, and it's 9 p.m. I've had the children. I guess since the last time you saw me, I forgot what time that was. When I got off, yeah, they walked in the door, and the couch is coming apart again. Uh, i got to get some plants for this couch. But, um... So, day two with the puppy. Today was a little challenging with Gunner. 
down, but she's feeling good. And this, this is scared goose. This is scared her a couple times, but everybody's doing good. She's so calm and playful. How do you say that in the same sentence, right? <laughs> but I went to the Dallas store and I'm gonna try to get some organization together. I'm gonna do make one of these probably blue for boggy B, right? Pink for patterns and green for I don't know. <laughs> Money. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, you guys, I would always talk to you about the book that I, I, I kind of created it, but I didn't. This is not really my creation. I just copied it. Excuse me. I went into a printing shop and I said, make me a hundred of these pages and put them in a ringer. Remember, I went through that phase where I put all my pattern books in the, in the, the spiral binders so that you can, it's helpful, very helpful. I'm going to get back to wearables. I got a wearable I need to finish. I've been goofing off and this is my stitch, my stitch dictionary. So, yep, and I think I got, no, I was going to do this one, but that one's, I want something, I'm very simple, and I got to write with red. Y'all, tell me if anybody's out there that's like me, um, I have to write with red to really be able to focus. I mean, like, if I'm reading something, I'll miss things, but I won't miss anything if it's in red. It's, it's weird, but I'm dead serious. If I could do all the print on all my emails in red, I probably could. I just don't know how to do it. But maybe one day I'll go over. I pulled out some patterns. I'm kind of embarrassed. I never finished that. I'm not embarrassed. I can't help it. Is that not pretty? <laughs> Lee Crochet, I've got a bunch of these. You guys be quiet. Use your inside voice. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> But I got a bunch of these on clearance. I got issue 26, 24, and 24. Symbols. How do you have two different issues? But they do. Symbols. They do. But I've been trying to go through stuff, and then the kids walked in, and it's like, oh, she wrote. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. So, it was getting a little stressful with Gunner and the puppy, because he doesn't know how to be calm. He runs up at it, you know, at her. And how many times do you have to tell him before you start yelling at him? You know what I mean? And Joey doesn't want me yelling at him because it doesn't do any good. But sometimes it's hard. It's hard. Um... And, you know, I, I'm not a screamer, but I, I get on to him, you know? Okay. All right, enough of that. I was in the middle of showing you a yarn haul, and my um, yarn haul that I want to share with you is Mary Maxim. And I had earlier, I had the email up so I could give you pricing. Here it is. I'm gonna make it in this cool area. Let's make it in this cool area. A yarn. Start building. Okay, I'll find it. Look, Prism's three ninety nine. That yarn is so pretty. And um, Premier Home Cotton's two twenty nine. They're still having the sale, y'all. It looks like. When I, I mean, I went to their store, so here we go, Burnett, and that Starlet yarn. Where is that, Burnett? Wait, wave length. That is really pretty. I've got, I got some this time around. I want to look real quick. I wanted to compare, you know, just share prices. Um, 
the yarn that I bought. Sorry. And now I can't remember. What was it? I bought it. It was a line. It was the Glimmer yarn, and I bought the Sunrise yarn. Let me type it up. I just want to see what it normally runs. Sunrise. Sunrush yarn. Sun. It's normally three ninety nine. It's beautiful yarn, y'all. Wow. And then glimmer yarn. So it's normal. Okay. Remember that. So three ninety nine. I, I won't remember that. So that's that um, sunrise by Mary Maxim. It's doesn't have a lot of colors. Four, five, six. It's got seven colors, but. It's beautiful, and it is 240 yards. I want to say it's a number three. Let's see what it says. You guys, I'm doing this backwards. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to find out how much that yarn was. It's $3.99, and then the other yarn, Glimmer, is $2.99, normally $4.99. So three bucks. Okay. So at least I got prices. That's the glimmer shimmer. Shimmy do up. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get back on track. The first color I have is Mary Maxim Glimmer. And. I forgot to write down what it's normally. Damn it. Hold on. I'm not good at this. Very nice. Very good. Order. Very good. Okay. Glimmer. Okay, normally four ninety nine. Four ninety nine now three ninety nine. And what was the other one? Sunrise. Sunrise is three ninety nine year round. And the other yarn was what was that? Waverly. I just want to share with you. Uh -oh. It was right there. Wavelength three ninety nine. Normally eight forty nine. It is really pretty yarn. Really pretty yarn. What else did I get? And I got some Premier Basic from Mary Maxim. <laughs> I wasn't gonna buy any more of this. It was. I think I couldn't turn it down. Premier, Premier, I E R. Hang on. The price is covered up by some kind of C. I don't know what that is. Compare at 15 stores. I never knew they had that. Compare 15 stores. Get crafts. Dot com is 353 crosshearts.com is 367 that's kind of cool anyways is this not beautiful okay Nance get your act together uh, we don't talk like that Anyways, he threw me for a loop. <laughs> okay, this is made in Turkey. It's right there for the first time. And it's upside down compared to the rest of everything else. Oh, goodness. Um, it's a number four medium. It's got a care instruction machine wash, delicate setting in warm water, and tumble dry low heat. I'm surprised with the metallic in it. And um, it's a nice number four, and it's nice. It's a nice yarn. It's soft. I got four of these. Two hundred. What was it? 
191 yards, and that's 97 acrylic and 3% other. So, and the colorway is mint. So, and I got. It's kind of coming apart, but it's on clearance, so I get it. It's probably been there for a while. I've got quite a few of their kits. I get their quarterly kits, and I think I have a couple like that. So, two, four, six, eight, eight hundred in the mint green shimmer. And then the next color is lavender. Four. And the metallic's pink. I guess that is a lavender. A form of it, I guess. Next. So I got four of the lavender and four of the mint. And then I've never gotten this color before. It's salmon. Salmon. Isn't that pretty? Yes, sir. What is she doing? She's sleeping. She's sound asleep. He's checking in on his new little girl. She's so sweet. Was she good for you? He's covering her up. <laughs> She's so sweet. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then, okay, that's it for, I got four of them. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> and I'll hold all of them, the colors together so you can get an idea of. Somebody bought this palette and made me think of it. Was it Angela? Was it you, Angela? Isn't that pretty? Before you know it, the holidays are going to be here. But they have them in nice bags. I'm going to put them back in the bags. Not well. I'll probably end up. I don't know what I'm going to probably do, y'all. But. You know what? I'm not putting them back in the bag. Because I can't get them in there the way they got them in there. Alright, let's build a little mountain. Ain't no mountain higher. Alright. Okay, the next thing I have. This is that waiver, that Burnett, Burnett, Bjorn Sprays and Burnett Wavelength. That's what I want to say, Waverly. Can anybody tell me what's Waverly? Why am I? Why do I keep saying that? Sorry, your inspiration. <laughs> uh, I like to change the name on everything. This is so pretty. Look at the color. That's gonna make some pretty blankets. Look at there. That's C to C? Yeah, it's C to C. But it's, it doesn't have that white in it. They must have used... That's interesting, you guys. I don't see any of that white, but it gets blacker. I don't see any of that. But maybe it asks for another yarn in the pattern. But it's a number 5 bulky. Tanzanite is the color. And it's a number 6 millimeter wash. Dry on low, 100% acrylic, it's 140 grams, 223 yards. This kind of reminds me of a Premier Puzzle. I can't think of it there for a minute. And it's got black and like a, it's like a smoke gray and a black, and maybe even a darker purple, but it's beautiful. I wonder, I'm curious to see what it looks like. I got four of them. So, 
about 900, 423s, about 900 yards. And then we can get a boggy blanket. And we got a bunch of tutorials, could a lot of, we got a lot of content creators or designers making, I think, tutorials for Boggy Creek. I'm so grateful for you, everybody. I just love how this community is coming together and everyone is talking about it. Yeah. I really appreciate everyone that made um, tutorials last year. Jennifer Robert Cinnamon Stitches made a pattern. My Precious Yarnery. Well, Jennifer did a tutorial. Um, Angela also over at My Precious Yarnery did a tutorial. There were several different content creators. And Bag of Day did a square. Jaxi, Creation by Jack, she did a tutorial. And I know I'm forgetting someone. Don't hate on me. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, the next is Premier Basics. And I love this yarn for sure. And I've made many squares with this. I've seen, I've watched a few designers use this just over the past few days using this. And, and blankets oh my gosh mostly I think squares but the patterns are beautiful that they're doing this works up so pretty um, you know I did a hat I have a hat tutorial it's kind of a beginner tutorial I wouldn't call it a tutorial I'd call it kind of winging it I might guide you and actually I'm doing the stitch that Olga uses in one of her tutorials my favorite blanket um, it, it's my holly jolly hat and it's it's on my channel somewhere I think it's on a list there but I used this yarn in it the the red kind of worked up like little berries and um, it, it just looked like holly I mean it was beautiful and of course the hat's been sitting around this room for two years and I put it away <laughs> it's in a container but let me get to this yarn I bought four I bought four of everything I probably, well, I got plenty of Christmas yarn. I didn't need any Christmas yarn, but I, I mean, I can, I'm looking at it over there. I've got like, I got eight skeins over there of this, and I know I have a bunch in, in the other craft room, so I love this yarn. I just, you can't beat the price, y'all. Let's see. Let's see what I paid. Okay, view your order. I paid fifteen ninety six for four. Yep. And I wish it would go straight to the store when you click on the yarn, but it's not. Premier basic shimmer yarn and I got the um, colorway Mary Shimmer and normally $4.49 and I got it on sale for $3.99 and that's 50 cents off a skein um, sometimes you you know you probably go over to Premier and um, get the same price you know so but let's see what it does over there found four options Premier has it for $3.99. Cherry on top has it for $4.99. Where's the other two? Uh, Hershner's has it for $4.49. And eBay has it for $9.61. This is a cool app she has here. I'm impressed, Mary Maxim. So, wow. I'm sure all of them have fancy gadgets. I just haven't figured it out yet, right? So $3.99 for the Premier, and I got four. This is really pretty, because I have, this is more of a burgundy color, and I have the one that's more red. But I like this color, too. And there's another one with like a, it's an old country green, I guess, kind of Christmas. 
went in there the other day. It's been put up. I've been doing some cleaning in case you haven't noticed. And I've done it without Shay here. <laughs> She's coming tomorrow. And then I bought, you know what? I bought this years ago. I forgot all about it, but they have, Mary Maxim has this Sunrise um, line, and it's a micro acrylic. It almost feels like, I don't know, it's really nice. It's really nice and soft, and I'm not going to take it out of its bags, y'all. I'm sure. It, it's shiny, it's soft. It's squishy. It's beautiful. I will use it for wearables. I've used it for wearable, bleh, wearables before. It's beautiful. Okay. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I want to get this video up, loaded, and these kids down, and I want to go snuggle on my sweet baby. Let me see if you guys can see her. Let me see if you can see. You probably can't. Did you can't look at her. Did <laughs> Is she not precious? Look at that little sticker. She's so sweet. She looks like a stuffed animal, doesn't she? And then we got Susie. I went to PetSmart. Girlfriend is chowing down. Susie's passed out here. We had a good day today. I just gave them all pain Um Except Susie. Maverick's got the hip dysplasia and Zeus is just, you can tell he's hurting. You can tell he's hurting. When he walks, he can, he's walking slower and slower every day. My poor baby. So anyways, back to yarn. It's a number three. There. Number three. I think this is the only way I can hold it still, where this screen really confuses my brain because everything's the opposite of what I do. But it's 100% premium micro acrylic. It's beautiful. And number three, recommend uh, recommended hook is I saw a second ago. A 4.0 knitting needle. That's all it has. And it's a light three, number three, but look at look at that. Is that not beautiful? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And is it such a beautiful color? And the colorway is called Tondi. No, that ain't the color. It says color dye lot tincture. Kalir, Tandi, Matisse. Yeah, I guess it's just numbers, y'all. But it's like a, it's like a real pretty country blue. That's what I would call it. But I got four. And um, again, there is how many did I say? Two hundred something. Two hundred forty. So. So like a thousand yards. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's almost like that denim from Lion Brand, you know what I mean? It just that rich blue, it's just pretty. And then the other color I got. I hope y'all can see me because I've got stuff all over the place. I can barely see myself. Um, specs are the same. This one is fossil. Oh, I found where the color is. This one's Oasis. The color's right, right there. But it says color up here. Yeah. <laughs> Confuse me. If it was in red, I would have saw it. <laughs> <Same thing. laughs> this is taupe. Whoops. This is taupe. Isn't it pretty? Oh, they're so pretty. How are they falling apart in a bag? I got four of each color. Wow. So pretty. This is their sunrise yarn. And whoop. I got three 
three more colors. I got a lavender. And it's like a silver lavender. I don't even know what it's called. It's called Cactus Flower. How pretty. That is so pretty. And then the next color. I have another color similar to that. They have another yarn. I'm not sure it's pop. I don't know. It might be the same yarn. It's the prettiest blue that I've ever seen. I don't think they have it anymore, but it's the yarn similar to this, if not the same yarn. But this color, and everything's always upside down, Nancy. What a representative. Desert sand. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then the last of the Mohegans here. This color is called Desert Rose. It's just a, sh I don't know, it's not quite as shiny, I don't think, as the rest of them, but it is shiny. But let me get one of every color. Do, 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 do. So I got one, two. Right, one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah. Is that not a pretty palette? I got four of everything. 240 yards per scheme. I'm going to keep this in the pots for right now. Till tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to rock and roll. I want to share something with you guys. Um, usually I give you updates on my health, but sometimes I don't. Um always sometimes I don't always but um, I'm not feeling good well I had not been feeling good I've never been back to normal okay it, it you know every day is a struggle to get up to get going I mean every day is a struggle you know and we thought it was depression you know they've they've given me all kinds of medicines okay it's been a year okay and I went I, I started having some more chest pains and I was not going to the emergency room um, I went to the doctors and he um, he's gonna run some tests but he had me stop a lot of my medicines and y'all oh my god it's been three days I think it's three days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today, Saturday. Three days. Well, actually four days that I've held like four of my medications. Okay. And not only did I hold them because he told me, but just some, some friends have told me I'm over medicated. Okay. Um, you know, taking two blood pressure medications just taking all kinds of stuff, taking too much of this and too much of that. Um, people that know better. And um, so, yeah, today I told Tim, I said, man, I feel good today. I mean, I really do. Um, you know, we went to the flea market. I was starting to tell you guys, and I squirreled out on you on some other subject, but um, I, I went to the flea market with Tim and I, I told him, I said, Tim, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to be here, to, to move one foot in front of the other. And I haven't crocheted a lot. It, I almost didn't show blankets the other night. I don't know if you guys kind of caught on what, what the girls were talking about, you know. And then I, I said, I feel good. I started feeling good. And I opened the rest of the blankets. But, um, oh man, y'all, I feel so good today. I mean, yeah, I took the kids. We went to the ritzier side of the shopping. There's this place over on the other side of Gainesville. I forgot what it's called. 
Anyways, it's like a desert. It's deserted over there. It's just overpriced restaurants and they got a they got a Nike what was it, Nike factory, Kirkland? They didn't have kids' tennis shoes in there. Okay, are you ready? But anyways, yeah, you know, like... What? I apologize if I offend it's anybody. Like, foo-foo, ice cream, and... Do two things. I don't know. <laughs> but... Okay. I went over there, and we walked we around. And we just... Oh, I didn't buy anything over there. Like... I told Kirkland, I said, we can get Nike tennis shoes at Rack Room. You know? But we ended up going to Dick's Sporting Goods... Right? We got you two pairs of Nikes. Can I show your shoes? Sure. Never thought of sharing your stuff before. Okay, y'all. This is not my style. This is my granddaughter. <laughs> For the first time, you got what? A blue stripe or a purple stripe in your hair? Blue. Blue. Nike. I wear the other kind. I don't even wear Nike. Yeah, I do. I have some Nikes. I haven't worn them in forever. I think I have a white pair with pink trim, of course. Fuchsia trim. And then I have a black pair. But yeah, she had to have these. And her mom told me not to buy white. So these are a second pair. Um, made with at least 20% recycled content. You mean... 20% chance it's going to fall apart. No, I'm kidding. But, yeah. And I got a good deal on them, right? They were 50 bucks. They were normally like 75 bucks. So, I don't know what's a good deal anymore. Right, Kirkland? Okay, she cried all the way home. Why did you cry all the way home? What do you want? Kirkland. She wants a snake. I'm in the party. Can I get a snake? No, I'm telling them you want a snake. She cried all the way home because she couldn't get a snake. Her dad said no. So, and then she got these. This is the style, guys. Whoa. My grandfather had these shoes. <laughs> just come around. Isn't it funny how things circle back around? They're pretty. They're beautiful. Don't wake the, tr the baby up. You want to say hi to everybody? We have fun oh, we've had fun today. She's been mothering the new baby, Miss Sadie. So, and we went shopping. But she's not a little country girl. She wants a snake. <laughs> I know you do. Maybe we'll talk your mommy and daddy into her mom is deathly afraid of snakes. But that's okay, huh? I'm not afraid of snakes. No, nope, no. Nope. You wanna you wanna be a veterinarian one day, don't you? So yeah. you gotta love animals. When we were at school I held a boa snake. Stand, an African boa snake. Stand right here. Now, where where they can see you. If you can't see yourself, they can't see you. There. That's better. Yeah. I held an African boa snake. Did you? It was kind of heavy. Yeah. Your daddy had a boa. And then I held a corn snake and a rattlesnake. You didn't hold a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. A poisonous snake? A rattlesnake. It's a poisonous snake. It was tamed. No, no. They brought it to school. There's no such thing as a tamed rattlesnake. Mm-hmm. Mm, you didn't touch no rattlesnake. Uh-huh. Unless its mouth was taped shut. It was. Did it have rattles on the end? I said it was taped. Oh, taped. I thought you said tamed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What else did they bring? And then they brought a, a rare, a little rare hamster. I don't remember. And then they Teddy bear them. hamster? I used to breed them, raise them when I was a little girl. They're, yeah. they're big, furry teddy bear hamsters. They were the color of uh, Sadie. Uh, yeah, and then they found a lizard and turtle, a turtle and a skunk. Oh, really? 
Yeah. It, they did the thing where it can't spray. Right, right. They removed it. Mm-hmm. And it felt fluffy. Yeah. Did they bring a porcupine? No. No? I remember that Z used to come to my school when I was little. They used to bring all kinds of cool things. Cool animals. So, all right, you need to go brush your teeth. You guys go brush your teeth, please. Okay, I gotta go. I love y'all. Mwah.